Hi everyone! So finally I am recording my candles from the keeping room haul. Here's the cute box. She drew a big pumpkin on it this time. This was from Carol's last opening that was November 4th, I believe. I hope I have that date right. Um, I think it was November 4th. Um, I purchased 25 bags, which was a little bit more than I was at first had on my list. I think I had like 22 bags in my on my list. One or two might have been already in other people's carts. I ended up adding a couple bags just to get to 25 just because it was her last opening. I got majority fall holiday spicy shop, a little bit of all things bakery, tiny bit of the drink comfort and sweet shop, and two things from the strawberry section. So um, yeah, I'm so excited. I'm so sad Carol's retired. If you did not get an order in from this last opening, she said she was gonna do some email orders after Thanksgiving. Um, so keep a, you know keep an eye out for that on her Facebook group if you did not get an order in. Um, obviously I won't be doing any email, email orders because I was lucky enough to get an order in this time around, but that is an option just in case you didn't get a chance to order and you wanna try her wax. Um, she is going to, I think, sell her oils and wax molds, so she really won't have any other openings. I was hoping maybe, maybe she'd extend a little bit, but I'm also really excited for her and happy that she's able to enjoy time now, retirement time. So let's get into the order. Um, I kind of thought for fun, maybe we'll start with the samples. I don't think I'll sniff individual ones just because I'm sure the video is going to be long enough, but I'll at least show the samples that I got. Um, so here is the cute bag. I know I already showed it, but I just love it. It is like stuffed full. I don't think I've ever had a bag this full. So let's see what is in here. Um, the first one I got is marshmallow fireside type. I've actually had this before, I think from Carol. So excited to have another one. Strawberry lady fingers. This must be in her like all things strawberry category because of the cute realistic strawberry. Strawberry spearmint. We have sugared strawberry cookies. I just love her strawberry shape. It is so adorable. If you've never tried out Carol's wax, it is like the hard paraffin wax. So um, I think people say like the hot plate warmers or tea light warmers work best. I usually don't have an issue with my Sensi 25 watt warmers. Every once in a while, it might not melt fully around the edges of the dish. Um, so you definitely do need a hot warmer to melt her wax, but it's so worth it. It is so good. I've had generally very good luck with her wax. Every now and again, one might be on the lighter side, but in general, I've had really good performance. This one is Tiffany's Pumpkin Pecan Waffles. I love her Tiffany's blends. I love her Pumpkin Pecan Waffles. So, so good. Juniper Twist. This is an adorable little like pine cone shape. Ooh, I love the shape. Mint Mojito. It's adorable like snowflake shape. This is so cute. Fireside Serenity. So this must be, I'm not sure what the Serenity is, but must be mixed with her Marshmallow Fireside. Oh, I've got some bags in here. This is Sugared Strawberry Spruce. I think I've had this one before. I don't know if I've melted it, but I think I have this in my collection. So I'll warm the sample when I warm the tart bag. Strawberry Raspberry Guava. Lots of strawberry shapes. And then I think the last one is Peppermint Cream Sugar Cookie. Two cute little, almost like cinnamon bun looking items. And then let's see what these are. I know... cute so they're wrapped and they say a gift for you so I remember seeing on Carol's Facebook page that um when she you know some of these were just like um in the sample bag but she just gifted some full-size tart bags I believe so we will open it and see that it's just so generous she gave me two of them so let's see what it is I probably don't have the scent notes but I can insert them um I can look them up and insert them into the video this one, yeah, I think it's a full-size tart bag. Oh my goodness, she is so generous. So this one is pumpkin praline flapjacks. That sounds amazing. I don't know how I overlooked this. Um, so maybe we'll give this one a sniff. 
just because I'm so excited. Like that sounds right up my alley because I've been so into like the chestnut, praline, um, chestnuts and brown sugar, kind of nutty bakeries. I even got the chestnut and praline latte from Starbucks. So I think I'm going to love this. It smells amazing. I'm so glad that Carol included this in my order. It's got that nuttiness, but it smells like a pancake or like a flapjack. It definitely smells like a decadent bakery breakfast. This smells amazing. I'm really excited about this. And here's some of the cute little tart shapes. Wow, that is amazing. Um, and then here's my last one, my last present. This is homemade blackberry jam butter cookie biscuits. Again, very excited about this. I love Carol's blackberry jam butter cookie bakery blends, which is just so crazy. I know I say this every time, but I used to not like blackberry jam butter cookie. I love it from Carol. I've actually gotten a few of these blackberry jam butter cookie bakeries from her in the past. And I got one in this order. Well, two if you count the freebie. Yeah, just really, really nice. It smells like just a nice bakery, blackberry jam butter cookie um, bakery blend. So really like it. I'm actually using a new camera rather than my iPhone. So it's a little bit different on like the focus, but hopefully the quality is still nice. Oh, it just smells so sweet. I'm just so excited about this. So those were my samples and freebies that Carol included. Now let's go on to what I want to start with is the fall holiday spicy shop only because I'm in the festive spirit. I've got some Christmas trees in the background. So let's um, sniff some of these holiday scents. So her bags are six ounce tart bags and they are $7.75 each. So let's start sniffing. The first one, which, wow, this has a lot of oils in it. I don't know if you can tell. Um, you might not be able to tell, but there's definitely like some oils right here on the bag. So I think this is going to be a strong one. So this is apple wreath. I didn't go through. I lined them up and ordered them in the categories that they were from the website, but I did not untie the little um, homespun ribbon. So sorry if it takes me a little bit longer to open them up. Um, I will read the scent description if it's not as obvious. Um, so like the bakery category, I probably won't read the scent notes, but maybe I will for this category because a lot of them, like some of them have similar names. So we'll just read the notes to see what distinguishes the blends. So apple wreath says a festive blend of green apples, red hot cinnamon, crushed clove, pine needles, and warm cedar wood. So let's see how this smells and she does double bag her um tart bag oh wow it smells so good based off of the scent description you would think that there would be some more red hot cinnamon cinnamon kind of bakery or bakery spices and earthiness because of the pine needles and warm cedar cedar wood but i smell basically the festive blend of green apple like i can Definitely get the green apple and green apple to me sometimes leans almost like body care shampoo leaning kind of more perfumey than like edible fruit. And that's kind of what this smells like. Like it, it reminds me of like a green apple body care. I don't really get the, I don't get the red hot cinnamon or really the earthiness at all. It just smells like a beautiful body care green apple. So that's really nice. The next one I have is Balsam Bows, which I might have in my collection, but I wanted to grab another one for the holidays. Um, so this one says the fresh invigorating fragrance of snow dusted balsam, fir trees and eucalyptus leaves, an enticing aroma of evergreen woods on a clear winter morning. Notes of crisp eucalyptus lift this fragrance while soft hints of fir needles and cedar wood musk hold the base. Let's see how this smells. I'm sure it's just going to smell pretty like a Christmas tree almost. It does smell. I can definitely get that little bit of like eucalyptus. Like it, it does smell like snow dusted Christmas tree. That's kind of what it reminds me of. You know, a Christmas tree, you almost get a little bit of a coolness when you smell the pine needles. That is what it kind of reminds me of. I don't think I showed any of the 
cute shapes in that last bag, but let me show a couple in this bag. So adorable. I love her shapes and a lot of them, I think all of them actually, she has like kind of two-toned colors. There's a little whimsical tree and the, there's a bigger tree in there too. And then one like little, I don't know if that's a cranberry, but it's pretty cute. Oh, just really nice. Not too strong, like not too overpowering, which I think is good. I don't always love when tree notes and earthy notes are too overpowering. It can be a little much for me. So I really think that's a gorgeous blend. This next one is cinnamon pumpkin coffee cake. This is a new blend. I'm not sure if it's new, but at least when she wrote the scent description, she said a new blend from the keeping room. Think of a wonderful sweet coffee cake. No coffee in this no coffee in this laced with cinnamon strudel crumbs and then whipped in some sweet pumpkin this is yummy that's what she says so interesting i was actually thinking um because this is one i ended up adding kind of last minute so i looked up the scent notes afterwards i assumed that there was going to be some coffee in here but she says not so it's basically just the bakery so let's smell it smells so good Wow, it definitely does smell different than just a cinnamon strudel crumb, like cinnamon strudel coffee cake. I could totally smell it being like, it smells like a um, a pumpkin muffin or like a pumpkin loaf from Starbucks is sitting next to the cinnamon strudel coffee cake. Like they're totally mixing and like mingling. This smells amazing. I'm so glad I ended up adding this to my cart. It's not overly sweet, but it is sweet and decadent, but it's not like hurting my teeth. It's so sweet. If this scent was lingering in my kitchen and I was actually baking this bakery good item, it, it would smell amazing. Wow. I love that. That smells amazing. The next one is Christmas Kitchen. So there were a couple different ones with similar names, um, and I ended up going with Christmas Kitchen, Christmas Kitchen and Christmas Time. So I'll show that next one after. But this one says a unique combination of all scents that are Christmas and all year long. Fresh baked cookies, pine, and peppermint. So that's what this one says. And I just love how her cute little homespun ribbons always kind of match the color of the tart. So this one, the ribbon is really tight on there. Sorry, it's taking me a second to untie the bag but I'm excited to smell it. So cookies, pine, and peppermint. Huh. I'm definitely getting the peppermint. It's hitting my nose, tingling a little bit, but it's not nose clearing. I, I don't feel like it's nose clearing. I think I'm getting some of the pine and maybe some of the bakery, but I'm definitely getting the peppermint. That's what I smell number one. I don't know if I would exactly be able to distinguish cookies and pine, but I can tell it's blended with something other than peppermint. But like I said, it's not distinctly bakery. It's not distinctly pine. Like it doesn't give me Christmas tree vibes, but it's definitely peppermint blended. So I like it. I think this will be fun. Nice around the holiday time. Um, let's smell Christmas time now. So the, this one is the scent of fresh balsam and warm vanilla cookies sprinkled with sugar sparkles. That's what this one says. So I might like this one better because it's bakery and tree, which is my favorite combination. I just wanted to give that one with the peppermint a try, but it, I will probably say it wasn't my favorite on cold sniff. Let's see how this one smells. Ooh, yes, this one smells really good. Definitely get the bakery notes. It's, I would say more bakery heavy than Christmas tree, like the fresh balsam. I get it a little bit, but it doesn't give me Christmas tree vibes. It almost gives me maybe a little bit more like grass vibes. Like grass in a bakery note. And then here's another one of the cute, oh, this is cute. This is a shape I haven't seen yet. A little mitten. But yeah, it's almost more of a fresh green note, a little bit. 
over like earthy woody Christmas. But it does smell like, I, I feel like I can smell almost like a sugary frosting kind of a scent. Mmm. I like that though. I like bakery and tree notes. So I do think out of the two I smelled last, the Christmas kitchen and Christmas time, I actually like the Christmas time just a smidge more. This next one is cranberry balsam. This is a wonderful mix of sweet cranberry and balsam. It gives a whole new level to balsam. Hopefully I was showing that and it wasn't off screen. Oh, this one's got a cute little cranberry in there too. I love when she does that. Like sometimes with her strawberry notes, her strawberry blend, she'll just add like one of the realistic looking strawberries in there too. This one's got one of those little cranberries in there. Ooh, this smells really good. This reminds me of the cranberry mixture. I think it was like a cranberry crystallite that my mom used to make when I was younger. That's what it reminds me of. I don't really get the balsam at all. I get way more cranberry and it's a sweet like cranberry juice. That's kind of what it comes off as to me. Ooh, I like it. Almost maybe body care cranberry because it's so sweet. It's not tart. Maybe, maybe a little bit of balsam now that I'm kind of like smelling it a little bit more. But I like it. I like the cranberry in here. I like that it's more sweet. So really nice. Okay, a couple more from this category, four more. This one is Dance of the Sugar Plum Fairies. I remember adding this kind of last minute as well. And I know I've seen this and actually Jenny from Just Jenny shared this in her video too of her candles from the keeping room haul. I know she really likes this scent. So that's also why kind of last minute I was like, Ooh, I saw it on her website. I decided to add it in. So this is, um, a great new fragrance. Again, probably not new, but at the time Carol wrote this scent description, um, which is filled with surprises to delight all the senses with plums, dark cherries, and sweet oranges enhanced with peppery woody undertones. So, I mean, based off of the scent description, I don't know if it's something I would entirely gravitate towards, but I've just been curious. A lot of vendors sell kind of like a sugar, sugar plum kind of a scent around the holidays, so I wanted to give it a try. And also because I know Jenny loves it so much, I wanted to try it out. Ooh, it's really pretty. It definitely gives me like that dark plum, cherry, even a little bit of the oranges I smell like, because it's something that reminds me of like a mulled... Um, not cider because cider reminds me of apple, but like a mulled Christmas punch or juice kind of a scent. And I do almost get, maybe it's the woody undertones. Like I do almost get like a tree note a little bit, but there's not a tree note in here. But I think it's because of the peppery woody undertones that she lists. Okay. I'm really pleasantly happy with this. Sometimes I don't always love those kind of deeper fruit notes like the dark cherries and plums. Like I definitely don't have anything else like this in my collection. At least I think I have a large collection, so who knows? But yeah, I'm really happy I ended up grabbing this last minute. Okay, the next one is lingonberry wreath. Again, this was a last minute grab. When I read the scent note, I don't know exactly if I would have added it into my cart, but I just kind of grabbed it last minute. So this is a very long scent description. Lingonberries are to Scandinavians what blackberries are to Americans, an abundant wild fruit free for the taking by anyone with a basket. Um, I'm just trying to see where kind of the scent notes would be. Um, tart red berries. The lingonberry wreath scent celebrates this fruit with notes of red cranberries, juicy peach, grapefruit, grapefruit zest, apple slices, violet blossoms, and creamy vanilla. So yeah, let's give it a sniff. I don't really know what, what to expect exactly because that's a lot of different kind of random fruit notes in here. Red cranberries, juicy peach, grapefruit, apple. Oh, I like it. I actually feel like I smell the grapefruit a lot because it reminds me of a grapefruit juice. Wow, it's super bright and juicy. Very juicy. It smells like a um, cold, bright juice that you would actually have maybe in the summertime. 
just because it's like grapefruit peach that's kind of what i smell more than like the cranberries Ooh. okay i'm really happy i ended up getting this because like i said when i read the scent description i was kind of like "Ooh, will i like it i'm not sure because i don't always go for the really fruity scents i just assumed that there was going to be kind of like a christmas tree note because of the wreath but it is a bright juicy fruit scent and i actually really like it but i don't know if i would warm it i mean maybe the holidays just because it looks so cute but i could also see it being a good spring summertime scent too because it's such a bright juicy like fresh juice scent um i got santa claus this one is our blend of vanilla bean noel and bear claw and a hint of mrs claus magic so that smell that sounds really good i love vanilla bean noel it does tend to be a light scent when it's in a blend but i love it from bath and body works it's one of my absolute favorites um, and then Bear Claw, can't go wrong, so it sounds like a decadent bakery. Oh yeah, this is really, really good. I don't know what the Mrs. Claus magic is. Something to do with Bear Claw, I, I would guess, because Mrs. Claus magic is spelled with claws just like this one. It smells so good, it almost reminds me of that sample, or the freebie she sent me, the pumpkin praline flapjack like I'm almost getting kind of a buttery like nutty note almost and maybe that's coming from the bear claw this smells so good I can't distinctly say I smell the vanilla bean noel but oh my goodness does it smell good and like buttery like I said almost nutty very decadent bakery very excited about this one i feel like i'm repeating myself a lot with how i'm describing it and how i'm excited about everything but i just am candles from the keeping room halls are literally so special it's like opening a present because everything's individually wrapped and her samples are just amazing okay last one from this category is sugared spruce i think maybe actually i was confused i don't think i've had balls and bows i think it was the sugared spruce i might have in my collection but just thought i'd pick up one more for the holiday season a sweet spruce blend, not piney, a smooth tree blend. Yeah, very pretty, and I I agree with her scent description. It's definitely a sweet spruce. Like, it's a sweet, a sweet, I don't know, it smells sweet and not too tree-like. I don't know, this doesn't smell familiar. Maybe I don't have this one, and maybe it is the balls and bows. I don't know. But it's really nice but very sweet like a sweet slightly earthy but more sweet note huh i like it and i love these cute little stockings in there okay so that was the fall holiday and spicy shop so now let's move on to my second largest category that i purchased from and that is the all things bakery so the first one I got is called Almond Pastry. This says, if you like almond, you will love this. A sweet pastry laced with almond. This is a strong scent, very yummy. That's what it looks like. I just want to give it a try. So let's see, does it smell cherry leaning at all? Sometimes almond, pistachio, cherry kind of smell similar. Maybe it's going to be more like the almond in like a white cake blend. Let's see. Yes. Kind of reminds me of the almond that you sometimes smell in white cake blends. Tiniest hint of cherry maybe, but it does smell pretty true to like an almond maybe extract. Something about it though, like, I don't know, almond just does smell just the slightest bit cherry, but definitely not medicine, medicine leading. This is actually probably the best almond bakery that I've smelled. Mm, I really like this and I definitely could see how this is going to be strong on warm. The next one that I picked up is Blackberry Jam Butter Cookie Zucchini Bread. So this is pretty obvious. Um, I think I said most of these I'm not going to read the scent note unless it's not super obvious. So let's just give this a sniff. This is what it looks like. I got a couple of her Blackberry Jam Butter Cookie Bakery in my collection, but I don't think I specifically had this one. Oh, it's amazing. This is amazing. I love it mixed with her zucchini bread. It's so, so good. 
Um, I think I do like this one a little bit better than the um, cookie biscuit one that was my freebie. I just love the extra depth the zucchini bread adds to the blend. It just smells so, so good. Any of her zucchini bread bakery blends I've loved. Yeah, this is amazing. I'm so glad I got it. Um, this next one is Farmhouse Treats, which is a repeat purchase. And I've also, the reason I picked this up the first time around in one of my earlier candles from the Keeping Room haul is because of Jenny again from Just Jenny. I've definitely seen her haul this in her past, like older candles from the Keeping Room videos. I will read the description of this one. So this one says, it's like walking into a farmhouse kitchen with the aroma of fresh baked cookies, jams and jellies, and a sweet vanilla glaze to pour over the yummy treats. This gives me blackberry jam butter cookie vibes. Like definitely. So if you like blackberry jam butter cookie, farmhouse treats smells really similar and I bet you would like this one. Or if you like this one, you would like her blackberry jam butter cookie blend bakeries. Um, when I first got this in, I wasn't sure about it because that was when I was still on the fence on if I liked blackberry jam butter cookie, but when I warmed it, fell in love with it. So I definitely have repurchased this since the first time. I'm pretty sure I repurchased it again and now I just wanted another one. So I think, hopefully, I have two of these in my collection now, including this, but at least if I don't, I'm just glad to have one more. Oh my gosh. It's amazing. It's crazy how our noses change a little bit over time because that's a scent that I used to totally dislike. The next one is Miss, Mr. Bear's Caramel Latte. So it's kind of like the bear claw and a coffee. Let's see. Is this crap broken? Oh, okay. Yeah. This one has a little tear at the bottom. I don't know if you can see. There's a little tear because I just felt some wax fall out. So I'll have to remember that and just put it in another poly pro bag. Um, this one's also got kind of a tight ribbon on it. Okay, here we go. So this one. Ooh, this smells really good. But definitely bake, uh, coffee leaning over the bakery. Look at this cute, huge coffee bean. It's so adorable. And then here's like a little, a little paw print like the bear claw. And I'll tap it together so you can hear how um, hard the wax is. It's really hard to chop. Like if any of these pieces are really big, it's just so hard. Look at this like coffee bean cookie. Oh, it smells so good. So I typically don't chop her wax. So even these bigger pieces, I just try to put in a warmer that I know is a good performer because it's just really hard to cut. It's so good. Um, coffee and bear claw just go so well together. I wouldn't necessarily distinctly know it's bear claw, but I definitely know it's a coffee bakery. Like that one a lot. The next one, I don't even think I'm gonna open. This is like a tried and true, and I just wanted one more backup in my collection of her strawberry zucchini. So, so good. Her fresh picked strawberry and um, mixed with the zucchini bread. Love it, cannot go wrong. My all time favorite is L3 strawberry zucchini, but this is very close second. Like, or maybe they're even, I don't know. But I know L3s is just easier to get my hands on, but just amazing. Like all time favorite blend, from any vendor from all time is strawberry zucchini. The next one I have is pistachio pudding cake. So this says um, a blend of sweet cake, pistachio nuts, almond, honey, heliotrope, and rich creamy vanilla custard, a big room scent. So let's see how this smells compared to the almond pastry one. I'm guessing maybe this one's more cherry on you. I don't know, let's see. Yes, this one's more cherry leaning pistachio, whereas the almond is more like, almost like the almond extract you get in like white cake blends, like I mentioned. But I like it. I mean, I, I do tend to like an almond pistachio bakery kind of cherry almost kind of a scent. So I like it a lot. And pistachio blends usually are strong. So I could see why she says a big room scent. So yeah, really nice. Um, this one's just got little cute kind of bunt shapes in here. 
The next one is Tiffany's and Mr. Squirrel. So Tiffany is the cupcakes at Tiffany's and then Mr. Squirrel is the chestnuts and brown sugar scent note, which I love. So I'm sure this is amazing. Yeah, it's really good. Off the bat, I think I get a tiny bit more of the cupcakes at Tiffany's. But I bet on warm... No. I mean, I do get, now that it's open and kind of airing out, I do definitely get kind of a nuttiness too. Like a uh, bakery nuttiness. Kind of butteriness almost. Ooh, that's actually a really good combination of both now that I smell it more. Yum. And her cupcakes at Tiffany's, I feel like comes alive a little bit more on warm as well. Um, the next one I got, again, just kind of for the winter to try out. This is Tiffany's Twisted Peppermint Cupcakes. So again, cup cupcakes at Tiffany's, I'm guessing, in like a, a peppermint blend. There weren't any more scent notes I found on the website, but that's what I'm guessing it is. Yes. Sometimes... Peppermint almost reminds me of dry erase markers. Don't know why, like the Expo dry erase markers. And I get that a little bit with this one. So we'll have to see how I like it on warm. There's a tiny little cinnamon roll. This one's really small, so I would maybe put two. Like, this is the size comparison between the normal cinnamon bun shape. Really cute. I like it. I don't know sometimes I get that dry erase marker so I'll have to see how this does on warm and then the last one from this category is Tiffany's Wildberry Cupcakes and I think I've had this before either in a full size or in a sample size and I loved it so wanted to get it one more time so cupcakes at Tiffany's and Wildberry Mousse oh yeah just so pretty um, I smell a little bit more of the Wildberry Mousse right now but the cupcakes at Tiffany's, like I said, I think tends to come alive more when you actually go to warm it. Okay, two things from the fresh pick strawberry or like the all things strawberry section. So the first one, I basically just alluded to it, is fresh pick strawberries. This is like a favorite from Candles from the Keeping Room. Um, she just says, what can I say? Most realistic strawberry lingers for hours, will fill the room. And I can attest to that. It is so long lasting and such a good scent. So amazing on its own. Amazing in blends. Oh, yeah. Just so good. It, um, it reminds me of a strawberry candy or almost to me like a strawberry, um, like a licorice, red licorice. Oh, I just needed another bag. She had like the most of this in quantity on her website. I want to say like 40 bags. Look at how realistic that looks. If you didn't know when this was just in a bowl in your kitchen, I bet someone would try to take a bite of it. Oh, so good. She had a strawberry pound cake Bath and Body Works type, and then she also had a strawberry pound cake that I think she just blends herself. I think I tend to like the Bath and Body Works dupe a little bit more. And that's usually what I like more, the Bath and Body Works dupe, if a vendor has like their own house blend versus the Bath and Body Works type. And then the last category I have here is the Drink, Comfort, and Sweet Shop. And I just have four items from this one. The first one is eggnog caramel latte. So let's give this a sniff. I just thought this would be nicer on the holidays too with the eggnog, which is funny. I don't actually even drink eggnog. I don't really like it in real life, but I just think, you know, it's a festive scent. So yeah, basically smells like a mix of the two. Get a little bit of the eggnog and a little bit of some caramel coffee. This must be an egg, maybe. And then here's these cute coffee cookies again. Maybe a little more of the caramel latte, actually, now that I'm smelling it. Would I be able to decipher eggnog? Maybe. 
maybe, but it kind of just smells like it's making it kind of a creamy, a creamy caramel latte. This next one is eggnog chai latte. I just thought this would be fun to try. So I, I really like chai tea lattes from Starbucks. So let's see if this one smells maybe kind of spicy, a creamy spicy. Yeah, that's kind of how I would describe it. Like a little bit of the chai tea spices, but kind of creamy because of the eggnog blended in there. These look like little wafer, wafer cookies. These are small, so I'd maybe do two of these. There's the little egg shape again. This one, I, can't, I think I can smell the eggnog a little bit more. It smells like just a, a slightly spiced eggnog. Then I couldn't resist because I love getting these from Starbucks in the fall. This is pumpkin spice latte. I'll probably hang on to this till next fall, honestly, at this point, just because I am going to want to get into the Christmas holiday warming. Ooh, this, this is nice. It's spicy. It's kind of a spicy pumpkin. little bit of the latte like the coffee in the background but it definitely smells like pumpkin spice forward there's a cute little pumpkin and then here's another cute little pumpkin tart and then last but not least is salted butterscotch so this one says warm brown sugar sweet cream a pinch of sea salt with delicious sweet melted butter I love buttery um, bakery scents. Not popcorn butter, like not savory butter, but sweet, like buttery dessert. Love. Yeah, it smells really good. It really does smell like salted butterscotch. That's a very realistic scent she got in this wax. And then this is kind of funny. There's some flip flops in here. This makes me want to go somewhere tropical because there's a little cute flower on the, the flip-flop. And then some of these cute little cinnamon swirl bakery tarts. Really, really nice. Almost body care leaning. I don't know why. Like if I had this, it reminds me almost of like the Bath and Body Works like cookie kind of sense where I would totally wear this on my body. Um, I have a um, is it Sol de Janeiro? I think so. I think it's number 71. It's like a really decadent bakery blend perfume spray. Love that one. It kind of gives me that vibe, like just a gourmand body care scent almost too. Like I would totally wear this as a body spray. But anyway, that was my entire candles from the keeping room haul. Again, so sad that this is my last haul ever from Carol, but I'm so happy that I was able to make an order um, during her last opening. Let me know if you picked up anything from Carol, um, any overlapping scents that I picked up as well. Let me know what your favorites were that you got. But yeah, thank you all so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video.